conversations can't be wrapped in one sitting. There is too much to discuss, too many angles to explore, and too many points to debate. Conversations like the one we started last week with Mr. Christian Olagwe, retired Assistant Inspector General of Police, the Chief Executive Officer and Chairman of the Lagos State Traffic Management Authority, LASMA, on the challenges of managing traffic in Lagos State. Today, we bring you the concluding part of the interview where Mr. Olagwe completes his thoughts on LASMA's lofty task to maintain sanity on our roads and your part as road users in assisting them. Speaking of your part, Mrs. Biola Tiamiu, the Acting General Manager of the Lagos State Drivers Institute, Lasri, is here to share with us on the crucial subject of the reorientation of drivers in Lagos State. LASMA's work can only succeed when complemented with a sane driving culture, and Lasri has been mandated to instill that in Lagos drivers. All these will come after the news highlights. I am Kate Harmony. And I am Obar Femi Craig. Welcome, Welcome to, to Lamata, Lamata Half Hour. Welcome and thanks for joining us on the news highlight on Lamata Half Hour. The Lagos Metropolitan Area Transport Authority, Lamata, has officially handed over the operation and maintenance of newly installed lightning facilities along the mile 12 to Ekorodo BRT corridor to the Lagos State Electricity Board. The move is to ensure the infrastructure serve their purpose of providing lightning along the corridor at all time, especially at night. The Electricity Board, during a recent site visit with Lamata officials to inspect the facilities installed along the corridor, commended Lamata for a job well done in installing the lightning facilities across the corridor. The board noted that the lightning along the corridor will enhance the safety and security of road users, the communities and the public at large, especially at night. As part of the Lagos State Light Up Lagos initiative, the State Electricity Board is charged and well positioned to ensure that the infrastructure remain operational at all times. All challenges with the e-ticketing system along the mile 12 to CMS Bows Rapid Transit BRT corridor will soon be over. This assurance was given by the management of the Lagos Metropolitan Area Transport Authority, LAMATA, the regulator of the BRT system. This assurance was handed out after meetings with the operator and contractor handling the operation of the e-ticketing system. The operator assured that technical and other issues with the system are being addressed as commuters will now be able to buy the cards, reload and use for their commuting needs. The management of Lamata said it will continue to work with the operator and other contractors to ensure that the system delivers first class services that will enhance commuter safety, comfort and ease of movement along the corridor. The management therefore urged commuters to continue to support the state government and Lamata as they continue to deliver on the promise of providing a smooth and affordable transportation system for Lagos. And that ends the news highlights. In the words of Mr. Christian Olakwe, the Chief Executive Officer and Chairman of the Lagos State Traffic Management Authority, LASMA, traffic management in Lagos is a Herculean task. But it's one he's well matched for. Mr. Olakwe was a former Assistant Inspector General of Police who is bringing his wealth of experience in maintaining law and order to his traffic management mission. Let's join him now as he concludes his thoughts on LASMA's challenges and more importantly, their solutions and strategies to ensure safety and smooth travel on our roads. Over the years, um, citizens have complained about the perceived high-handedness of last month officials. In the last five months you've been in office, have you heard of anything like that? Yes, we have tried to reduce that because what I have fundamentally tried to do through robust interactive session with them, I used to call them once in a month, all the other ranks who are on the highway, and talk to them about civility to members of the public. Okay. The public, are your, they own you. You are not their boss, you are not master, you are a civil servant. 
And who is a servant? A servant is the one that carries out the instruction of the masters. So you cannot tackle them, rugby tackle them, you know rugby, rugby tackle them, <laughs> fall them, tear yourselves apart. I think that scenario is playing down now and wearing out. And I believe that in the next five months, we should be able to see a more civil, a more palpably democratic LASPA official handling proceedings with members of the public. How would you describe LASPA under your watch? Well, a growing organization. I say growing because I met them in almost comatose level. I met a LASPA that did not have self-esteem. I met a LASPA that does not have itself, um, that is, cannot pride itself of fine attitude to members of the public. And so I'm trying to build them up. One, imbue in them, inculcate in them that the best form of discipline is self-discipline. Number the one. The best form of discipline self -discipline. is self-discipline. Number one. Mm. First form is self-discipline. Two, the next form of discipline is you are dressed the way you are dressed. So you must look good and you must look clean. The next one is we have established a reward system. We are going to call you in, on the last, last Thursday of this month. We're going to have a reward system for those who have excelled in their performance in traffic management. The best junior officer, the best senior officer, those who have comported themselves, those who have increased the IGR of the state by enforcing traffic rules and norms and so on. So we're, we're going to increase the reward system so that you know why you're working and you're appreciated for doing good work. How do we tackle this issue of traffic congestion? The traffic congestion cannot go because Lagos, as you rightly note, noted, is a mega city. As we speak now, the luxurious bus is bringing in more people. Yes. People are driving in <laughs> looking for greener pasture. Lagos is the hub of industrial, industrial uh, act activities, port activities, don't forget. A lot of people come all the way from Kado, from Meduguri, from the east to the ports That's right. to clear goods. In spite of the deregulation, decentralization of the port to Wari, to Onea mm -hmm. and all these places, Lagos still stands as the kennel, the centerpiece of export-import activities. Right. And don't forget also the role of Lagos in tank farms. We have the highest number of tank farms in Lagos. That's true. So you cannot rule out people coming into Lagos, both vehicular and pedestrian but activity. it can be controlled. Control is what we are doing. But what we are saying is even the commenters themselves should be disciplined. I have something, I have a photograph of Lagos in 1973, the gridlock of 1973. And you can imagine when it was being served by Qatar Bridge only that time. Mm. Now we have the Ted Milan Bridge, we have the Eco Bridge, and yet the volume of traffic, over 2 million cars riding on 9,200 roads. But the government is looking at it very deeply now. The government of Akimumi Ambody is looking at it very deeply and bringing out Integrated. alternatives to road Options. haulage. Now, let's look at this, uh, the establishment of the mobile court. Uh, how does it aid your operations? Very well, I've told you. It removes and um, reduces impunity. A driver who passes uh, the buck on the owner who is sleeping at home, he goes to obstruct traffic, he rides against um, traffic, he goes on the BRT lane and does some skipping, jumping from one this uh, cab to the other. You know, all those kind of things. When we now give them the, the dose that they require, they carry the ticket and run back to their owners and drop the, the, the ticket and pick another vehicle again and they start driving, you see him driving another vehicle. So this mobile court will do justice to people like that. Traffic offense is strict liability. It's you that caused it that will be at the brunt. And that's why I feel the mobile court will do more justice than ticketing system. So aside the mobile court, if you, if you feel you are not rightly treated, how do you seek redress? Seek redress, go to our website. It's open, www.lasma.com. Uh, gov.ng. Okay. You'll get us. 
and you can take .gov.ng. Then you can take my personal line, zero zero three six nine two nine eight zero nine. Can call me any time of the day. I still have the police blood flowing in me, in spite of my retirement. You can call me any time. I'm willing to listen and aid you. Last one is your partner in progress. We'll take a break now. When we return, our audience are waiting to ask all the questions. Mr. Chris Olakbe is still with us here in the studio. Stay with us. You're welcome back to the program. We are still discussing with Mr. Chris Olakbe, Chairman and Chief Executive Officer of Lagos State Traffic Management Authority, LASMA. And he's been talking to us on how to manage traffic on Lagos roads. And you're welcome to the program. It's good to see you again. Okay, so let's take your questions. Sir, there's a common trend in Lagos where organizations and companies, institutions, we hire your people, last month officials, to block the major roads. On a highway, you just see a lane that is meant for two or three lanes. They will just block two of the lanes and you will see your officers there. And it is a common thing in Lagos. What are you doing to arrest that, sir? Abola, I know that very shortly you are going to come to my office and request for last month officials for your marriage, for marriage ceremony, for burial ceremony, and it's the corporate social responsibility of last month to accede to your request because we cannot cut ourselves away from the dynamics of what happens in society. So when people apply for last part to control traffic, control of traffic and parking of cars and crowd control cannot now become a thing that you wouldn't want to see in the template. So we take the last question. How often does last man officers go for training to meet up with the modern trend? We ensure that our men are trained um, through collaboration with Federal Safety Corps, Nigeria Police, Lexi. And um, in fact, now, more than ever before, we want to increase external training for last mile officials so that they can now go to places like Delhi, where they're managing that kind of uh, mega city, choke up a traffic system. New York, London, these are three mega cities that we should go and uh, look at and learn. We are going to use both external and internal training dynamics to better the lot of last month officials. We cannot but sincerely thank you enough, sir, for being a guest on the program today. But before you go, we want to have your thoughts on the topic discussed. Well, um, fine topic, dynamic, and um, down to earth. I want to advise um, two sets of people, the community public and then the pedestrians. For the pedestrians, always use the overhead bridge constructed by government. It's for your safety. Do not jump across and trying to beat the traffic by jumping into the lanes to cross when a bridge is available for you. When you do that, you're putting your life in danger. For commuters, drive with due care and attention. Drive without abusing noxious drugs and psychotropic drugs. Drive without drinking. Drive and don't smoke while driving also. Fasten your seatbelts all the time. If you are with children, get the appropriate seat for the children that will fasten them up in the car. And when you drive, concentrate and observe two seconds distance, which we call the thinking distance, so that the rampancy of uh, accidents will be reduced to the barest minimum. If you drink, don't drive. If you drive, don't drink. Thank you very much. You. Please join us after the break. Last month's great job will only succeed if you, the Lagos driver, play your part. After all, vehicles don't overspeed, overtake or cause accidents on their own. It is the people who drive them that cause these things. And make no mistake about it, your expertise to move a car across the city does not make you a good driver. And that is why many of us need a reorientation. 
Mrs. Biola Chiamiu, the acting general manager of the Lagos State Drivers Institute, is here to enlighten us on the orientation drivers in Lagos should have. Without it, LASMA's task to achieve in free flowing traffic and us here in Lamata to keep Lagos moving will be excursions in the dark. Let's have Mrs. Tiami. What is it you know about the Lagos State Drivers Institute? It's time we talk about this institute as an agency of the government. Not many people really understand the role of this agency in its service to the good people of the state. We're also here in the studio to discuss the set vision of this institute is the acting general manager, Lagos State Drivers Institute, Mrs. Bola Tiamiu. A pleasure having you. Thank you, sir. On the program. Now. Thank you, sir. What has been the role of LASGRI in reorientating Lagos drivers? Uh, thank you, sir. Uh, Lagos State uh, Drivers Institute uh, was established by law number no. seven of 2007, and we commenced operation to August 2009. We are started with responsibility of uh, training, the training and uh, certified drivers on Lagos Road for safety. Training and retraining of drivers become necessary to meet the challenges of road traffic crashes and traffic problems associated with it because of a lack of knowledge of using of road by majority of the drivers on the road, especially commercial vehicle driver. Private drivers, like you and I can tap into resources, but it's not compulsory. You can come in there voluntarily to acquire more skill, to upgrade your traffic knowledge. You can come and learn moral science, traffic science, how to be, become a better driver on the road. You can come voluntarily. But it's not compulsory for somebody like me and you. But people that are handing their living through driving profession, it's compulsory for them to come there once every year for the training and certification, sir. Specifically, what kind of reorientation do you give offending drivers? The first one is what we call mandatory professional driver's course. That is for uh, professional drivers. And it's once every year. If you are coming, you need to go to a bank, you pay 1,000 naira. Then secondly, is rehabilitation course. If you are apprehended by LASMA or VIO, the law says they have rights to send you for the rehabilitation program in the institute. Now, when you come for that kind of course, we, no we normally look at the fine issued to you by LASMA or VIO. With that, we now package orientation course that will suit that need. So that when next you go back to the road, you will see, you will not, you will not see anymore. Mm -hmm. You just go there, you go back on the road, you become a better driver. A better driver. We have different type of courses. Mm -hmm. We have one that is the driver's responsibilities. As a driver, your responsibility on the road, one, to yourself, to the vehicle you are driving, and to traffic environment. I mean the place where you are operating. That is what we are. But the third one is a structured program. Maybe all big, big companies, I don't want yeah. to mention name. Yeah. You have, some of them, they have a, a smaller vehicle in their fleet, while some have trucks and a scooter vehicle. So when you come to us, you come to you, you, you ask for the one that will suit your company needs. They will now package the horse through that will oh. tailor it through, through your organization needs. And make the drivers there better, better. than what they are. Yes, sir. Some members of the public who had gone through your reorientation say that the institute's processes are cumbersome. Do you agree? No. The reason being that uh, it's one of the problems we are solving presently in Lazarus. Our drivers are not patient. Hmm. And that is causing a lot of problem that you can testify to it. Impatient, I want to get there on time. If you know that you are getting to somewhere on time, please wake up in the morning and move. The process in class is not cumbersome, it's not, I don't know, just for them to live a day, to come and get their, uh, their skill upgraded every year is giving them problem. It's not, it's not two days, it's only one day. But the process is like this. When you come in the morning, government did not give us power to collect cash from public. We are going to give you teller, you go to a bank. If it is a mandatory course, you pay only 1,000 naira. We take your teller, come, we bring it back to the accounting department. They are going to take your details. Okay. After which, we are going to present you to optometrists. Okay. Because we believe you cannot be 
graduating blind uh, mm. drivers. So we have to take them to doctor. Doctor will check their eyes to see whether their eyes are okay mm. or not. After we take them to biometric section, and they are going to, to input their data, their address, every other thing. Because at times they believe that they can go on the road and do nonsense. You cannot do nonsense on Lagos road now and get away with it because we have their data. We have database for driver. After we will now take them to classroom environment, fully air con like this, we now take them, we train them. But the important thing is that any time they come for training, they are getting their registration card the same day. Now, what target has the institute set for itself uh, to get all drivers in Lagos or uh, reoriented? Just uh, like uh, I'm here now. Public enlightenment, public education, and orientation. And most of the time, you know, we usually do our motor parks enlightenment. And now, immediately I assume duty of uh, acting. I sent the head of corporate affairs department to send letters okay. to corporate organization, NURTW, to remind them because it's once in a year. So your parting words? And my own... Uh, uh, advice for drivers, especially professional drivers, that please come to Lagos State Drivers Institute. Come and tap into the resources that is there. We can train drivers to become better drivers. We have state-of-heart equipment in all our centers. We have simulators in all the centers that we are using to, to train drivers or not to become... But the, the goal we are preaching Lagos Driver Institute is for you to, to drive, to stay alive. You're welcome back to the program. Mrs. Tiamiyu, thank you again for that enlightenment. We are sure our viewers have taken one or two lessons from what you have shared with us today. Thank you for always giving us something to look forward to in the messages you send to us every day. Here are some of the ones you sent in this week. This one is from Adeshile Abimbola and it says, Lamata, after a number of trials, I have decided to bring to your notice that a lot of your new AC buses do not have the electronic devices working. This should be fixed urgently in order to continue to promote the cashless society. Thank you so much, Abimbala, for that observation. And we assure you that the challenges with e-ticketing are being addressed. Very soon, you will see the system fully back up and running. Another one is from Eunice Ademola. It says, we believe in Lamata and the Lagos State vision of promoting good public transportation. Every developed cities have good public transport system. Lagos cannot be an exception. Good work, Lamata. Thank you, Eunice, for your trust in Lagos State Government and Lamata. The vision is to deliver to you a multimodal integrated public transportation system with a rail, road, water, and cable car network all integrated for seamless transportation in Lagos State. If you have reached us before, please do so again. If you haven't, we'd like to hear from you. Kindly send us your questions, comments, observations on any of the following contacts. Thank you again for being on today's show. One of the most vital senses for success in transportation are your eyes. Take care of them. Don't overexpose them to light. Eat meals that are high in vitamin A and don't strain your eyes to read in the dark. Craig is right because in Lagos you always have to shine your eyes. But how can you if they are in bad shape? I am Kate Harmony. And I am Obar Femi Craig. Lamata. Keeping Lagos moving. Eko Akete Lagos, my home. With Lamata, Lagos is changing for the best. Be at Lagos.